Welcome to this QuickBooks 2022 tutorial on how to delete accounts. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. First things first, hey, if this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up, like it, uh, also share it, uh, and subscribe to my channel. I'd uh, love to have you as a subscriber. I come out with videos uh, at least once a week, sometimes more, to help you learn QuickBooks better. So let's get into this. Why would you want to delete an account in QuickBooks? Uh, well, there's a lot of reasons, you know, uh, most specifically, a lot of times people's chart of accounts just gets out of control. They start creating accounts for everything. You might be a bookkeeper that takes over for another bookkeeper and they've just made a mess of things and you just want to clean it up. You want to get rid of it. And so you want to just delete some of these old accounts, or you may have switched banks and you have some old bank accounts. You just want to delete those accounts. So we're going to walk through today, not only how to delete account, uh, but also why you may not want to delete it. All right. And I'm going to show you another option near the end of this video. All right. So let's get into this here. So we're going to first go to our chart of accounts. Now the chart of accounts is up under the company drop down menu. We say chart of accounts, and you're going to see these are all the accounts that you classify things in QuickBooks. Uh, it starts with your balance sheet items. You've got your, you know, your assets, you've got your liabilities, equity, and then you've got your income and all your expenses, which is your profit and loss. And let's say this thing has just gotten out of control. And when I say out of control, what I mean is uh, a lot of times people will just create an account for just about everything, you know, so they don't do sub accounts. They just do tons of accounts. So when you, you know, you print off a profit and loss statement or a balance sheet, it's five pages long and it's just out of control. You can't read it. It doesn't make any sense. So you want to just clean that up and consolidate it. Well, you go in and you say, I'm going to delete some of these accounts. And it's very simple to do. Okay. So what you do, you say, let's say that we're going to delete this. Uh, let's say, let's, let's find one here, land. Like, you know, we don't use this. Uh, we don't even own this. Like, why do we have land on the books? All right. This is a big amount. So I would, uh, urge caution before, uh, deleting an account like this. So what you're going to do, you can simply right click. You're going to see right here, you can see delete account. You can also do that right down here, delete account. So if I choose this, you're going to see this account is associated with office land 12 item. It cannot be deleted. Huh? So here's the thing. If you have activity or it's associated with an item in QuickBooks, so it could have had activity a long time ago, you can't delete the account. And, um, and the reason is, is because if you delete that, you're deleting all those past transactions and you just can't do that. And in this case, this is associated with an item. So you can't delete that. So the only accounts that you can delete in QuickBooks are the ones that have no activity, just zero. And they're just accounts that were set up and you just want to get rid of them. So those accounts you can delete the other ones you cannot now. Let me show you a different option. Now, instead, and, and typically I suggest this, I don't suggest people delete accounts. And unless there's absolutely no activity ever, you've never done anything with it, it was set up, it was not used, then you can delete it. Uh, but sometimes, you know, unless you go back and check, it could have been used years ago. And so you just don't want to go down that route. So what you want to do instead is you want to right click and there's an option here that says make account inactive. That is a much better option. Now, when would you use this? All right. So if I click this, let me show you what it does. Okay. It makes land disappear. It's gone. If you want to see which accounts are inactive, you can simply check this button down here that says include inactive. And you're going to see all the ones with an X by them. Those are the inactive accounts. There's just a couple of them on this chart of accounts, land being one of them. If you want to make them active again, you simply put your cursor over the X, click, and it disappears, and now it's active again. And if you don't want to show these, you uncheck this box and it makes them disappear. Simple as that. Now, here are the guidelines on when you want to make an account inactive. If it was used previous to this year, all right, so we're in the current year right now. It is March 20th, 2022. If we did not use this, and I, I would even suggest going back beyond the year before last year. So back to 2020, if the last time it was used was 2020, 
you can generally make it inactive. The reason I say that is because 2021, people are still doing tax returns. You're still looking at stuff from prior year. You're still doing uh, com comparative profit and loss statements from 22 to 21. So you probably still want that account on your chart of accounts, okay? Now, so you only want to make those accounts inactive. Uh, because again, if it's got current year activity, it's still going to show up on your profit and loss and balance sheet, and it's going to have something next to it that says inactive, typically. Okay, it varies between different versions of QuickBooks. All right, so those are the basics, and those are the guidelines of when you want to delete an account and you want to make it inactive. Generally, making it inactive is better, but if it has current year activity, then just don't make it inactive. It's just going to I want to say create a mess, but it's just going to make things a little bit more difficult. All right. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Also, uh, if you're worried about making mistakes in QuickBooks, I've got some free videos over at the QuickBooks University website. That website is qbuniversity.org. I've got three fantastic videos there that will help you avoid the biggest mistakes I see people make in QuickBooks. Again, that site is qbuniversity.org. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.